so right now we will create our model for this i am creating another component over here which would be model.js okay and over here i am creating another component and it would be model component and over here also we don't need these styles so i removed it now first let me import some apis from react native so we would require dimensions web view and of course model and another api would be share because we also want to share the news from our app and after that we will import some design api from native base and we would import container header content body left icon right title and button so we have imported these apis from native base right so now we will start designing our component we would return model and within this model i will provide some attribute so animation type would be slide and transparent and visible will handle from its parent component so for that i need to pass some prop over here i will create constructor props super props and its parent component is tab1.js right so first we need to import the model over here so it would be model from component model so we will use the model over here and it will be within the same level of the content and over here we will pass some prop so for that first we need to handle the model visibility so for that i need to create another state over here it will be set model visible and by default it will be false and i will create another state for fetching the article data or news data particular news item right so for that i am going to name it as model article data and it will be blank json data by default so now we need to handle the model visibility so if we click on the view then our model will be visible so for that i am creating a new function over here actually two new function first will handle item data on press and next one will handle model close so handle item data on press it will check if we are clicking on this view button and then it will get the click data information and then manage data accordingly so then it will set the model visible to true right and model article data also will be passed over here as we will click on the view of any item and that item details will be passed to this function so i will call this as article data and then the model article data will be the article data passed in this function and after that if we close the model then set model visible will be false because we have requested to close the model and simultaneously we need to clear the article data as well so these are the two function which will manage our model now we can use this information over here i am giving this a prop to show model and it will be this state set model visible and the other prop will be article data and the article data will be this state model article data and another prop would be 
on close and here it will be our handle model close function okay and it will be without parenthesis okay we will not provide this parenthesis because we don't want to call this function when this component loads we will run the function when we will call it so now i saved it now we can use this show model prop over here so we will fetch the props and from props we will get show model and article data and if we see our article data then this is a article and within this article we have the url for the news and within this url we can read the full news right so we need to get the url field from our article so from article data we will get the url field so this is the field for visible we will provide show model and for model we need to provide another attribute which is on request close so over here we will provide a function so here it will handle close function and over here i need to return this props and within prop i have provided this on close so over here i am calling the function here on request it will be handle close now within this model component we need to design our model so for that i need to create a container within container i need to provide the header within header it will be left then the body then right so these are the three different sections of the header and after the header we need to provide our content within this content element now for the container style we can provide margin 15 margin bottom will be 0 and background color will be white now for the header we need to provide the background color header background color will be this green color and it is the color code and i need to wrap it within a quotation mark now on left hand side i will provide a button and within the button i will provide the icon of close i will show cross icon over here and if anyone press on that icon they will close the model and we have created this handle close function and over here we have passed the on close which is passing this handle model close function and over here we are setting the model visible to false right so over here style for this icon will be color white and font size for this icon can be 12 and for this button i need to provide this transparent attribute so this is our left section and within this body we need to provide the title and the title will be our article data title so let me check the title within our json response so over here it is within this title field right so it will be article data dot title and style for this also will be color white okay and for the right side i will display share icon so it will be similar to this so copy it and the icon will be share and for this i will create handle share function so it will be handle share i will write the functionality for this later and now within this content i need to provide the web view and within this web view i will load this url which is the news article url right so i need to provide the source and the source uri would be our url which is 
this URL from article data. Style for this will be flex1 and it has few other attributes like on error so it will be handle close and then start in loading state so it will display a loader within this while it will load the data from the source and then scales page to fit it will scale the model properly within the viewport now we need to provide on press property for this view button so for this i um, need to go to this data item and within this data item i can provide on press and over here i need to handle the on press so i need to create a function called handle press so now let me quickly create this function and this function will handle this handle item data on press okay so we need to pass this function within our prop so in this data item i can provide on press prop this handle item data on press and then we can call this on press prop over here and within this we need to pass some data of our article so for that we can grab those data from our prop and our prop data is present within this data so from that we can fetch our article data so data item and within this item we can get our url and title so we need to pass those data over here so this data will be passed into this function and this function will grab this article data and this article data will store within this model article data state and this model article data state will handle the model data so now i think we have made some progress over here now let me reload it once okay we have some error in model js file it will be another curly braces so save it reload it close it recompile it again okay now it has been loaded so now click on the view so our model is loading right now okay so we can see that our model is showing over here but maybe there are some difficulty in loading our data so now we need to check it we can provide a check over here for that here if our url not equal to undefined then we will return this okay else we will return null from here if our url is present then we will show this model and if url is not present then we will return null and after that we need to also manage our web view height so for that i am creating a web view height constant and over here i will use the dimension get window height and i will minus the height with 56 pixel now i can provide the web view height within my content it will be content container style and the height will be web view height so now we can see that our article is showing within our model properly and if we click on close then our model is closed so now we need to provide the functionality for this share button as well right so for that i need to write some functionalities over here within this handle share function so now first grab the url and title from our props and 
for the model we are providing this article data prop and within this article data we can get this url and title so now we can create our message and over here i will use template literals so here the title of the article and new line read more at and within this i will provide the url of the news and new line then shared via rn news app so you can provide your app name over here so this message will be shared so now we need to return share dot share then we need to provide title message url message after that we need to provide dialog title over here we will also provide share title okay so this is our share functionality you can learn more about this within official documentation of react native so we have get those url and title from our prop article data prop and we have built a custom message which we will share to our various platforms from our app okay so now reload it so it has loaded the news within this model and if we tap into this share then the share dialog box has been appeared we can share the news from here so we have completed our functionality now it's time to build other tabs as well so for tab 1 we have created all these functionality so i will copy all these codes from here and paste within the tab 2 and over here i need to provide the category for it so it will be business category articles and similarly i will do same thing for the tab 3 as well okay and within this get article i need to provide the technology so now reload it once so over here we can see the general topics news okay and in here we should see the business related articles but we can see that it is also the general topic articles so that means our get article has some issues okay so within this get article we need to provide default category as general and we don't need to import this category from this rest config so now i can save it now hopefully reload this for last time so these are the general category news and yes these are different news loaded over here and these are related to businesses and let's see these are related to yes technology so this is it this is the tutorial guys so finally we have wrapped our tutorial series so this is the news app built with react native so if you have learned something from this tutorial and like this kind of tutorial then let me know by commenting down below and hit the subscribe button like this video if you liked this tutorial and subscribe this to channel for more tutorials like this so i will see you later in next tutorial video so have a great day goodbye